Well, something is definitely going on at ABC as we have now had the second producer in a less than a week die suddenly. Erica Gonzalez, a San Diego 10 news producer, has passed away. We'll get into all the details here, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, if YT lets you try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The news coming in here that Erica Gonzalez, a very beloved producer for San Diego, ABC News 10, had died suddenly about a week ago. Uh, as of right now, they have not released the cause of death, um, you know, uh, either through a statement from ABC or from her family. We do know that right now they are in the process of getting her body from San Diego back to her home in El Paso, Texas, where we could probably expect a funeral service to um, occur at some time, although uh, no official announcements have been made about that as of yet. Erica is a graduate of San Diego uh, State College. In addition to that, she is a proud Marine. She served her country for eight years in the Marines, and she also covered a lot of stories uh, when 9-11 was going on. But not only that, if you're someone who lived in San Diego, you would notice that a lot of the stories that they presented that were about the Marines, she was the person that was behind that. She helped produce those. That was something that she was very passionate about. Um, the newsroom releasing a statement saying that, you know, they love coming into work every morning. They said there was her dry sense of humor that always brought a smile to everybody's face. They said that she would be hard at work in the morning with her, uh, proudly with her Aztec hat on each and every single day, working away to do the best and produce the best news stories uh, for San Diego. Um, so she's going to be deeply missed. And as I said here at the top, this is the second ABC producer to die suddenly in less than a week. The other one was a producer who worked um, with uh, George Stephanopoulos on his show. I did a video and reported on that. If you missed it, go back and check that one out as well. So what is the cause here? Again, I, I want to say this because this was a little interesting little um, side note here about ABC that I didn't know when I came across this. And that is that ABC is currently tied up in litigation for apparently denying any religious exemptions for anybody that submitted one that did not want to take the pinchy. Now, I'm not saying that that was the cause here for the passing of either Erica Gonzalez or Dax Tejera, who I reported on previously. But it is important to note here that ABC was forcing all of their employees here to get the pinchy, whether they wanted to or not. And again, they were denying religious exemptions. We have to remember that some of these people, they feel like they have no choice. Their livelihood is on the line. And you know what? They're told, you know, that, hey, these things are safe. It's fine. You're, you're good to go. Look, you got to do this if you want to keep your job. And they go ahead and do that. A lot of them don't want to. There are some that we know that have no issue taking it. In fact, they brag about it on social media all the time, right? We see it in their posts. In fact, oftentimes they condemn people who don't take it. So it's not always a case that these people are wanting to do it. They feel like they have no choice. They submit some sort of religious exemption, you know, which... <laughs> Should, they shouldn't be getting denied. That's terrible. That's why they're tied up in litigation right now. And by the way, uh, the link in the description that I'm going to provide, you can read more about that lawsuit if you would like to do so. Uh, again, we don't know the exact cause here for the passing of Erica, but our prayers are with her family right now at this time. Uh, she leaves behind a child as well. So that's, you know, pray for that child that, um, that God will look after them uh, and uh, surround them around a loving home and family that will be with them, uh, even though Erica is no longer here. But you know what? Let me end this video on hope because that's what I do on all my videos here. That hope can be found in Jesus Christ. If you're someone that's watching this video right now, if you have not yet uh, accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to do that right now. You have to understand that, you know, you don't ever know when you're going to leave this world, but whenever you do, you want to make sure that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross 
for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to turn from sin, those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below, guys. Uh, you can check out the link. Um, our prayers once again going out to the entire family of Erica Gonzalez and also everybody who works for ABC 10 News there in San Diego. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.